and I was in a coma for 15 coma. years. All right, you ignorant knob! Hold them, hold them, hold them, all oh, gravel! Oh. Cheers, mate. Just rubbed that. Looks yeah, like he's just rubbed it, Baz, looking out and running after him. Build update, bit of block walk on, bit more steel, it's looking good. There we go. And this crap bike didn't start again. I had to bloody charge it, didn't I? I had to use the jump leads. It's a joke that battery dies in less than two years. I've got two batteries on my car and it's six years old and never had a problem with any of them. The five times the size though, but yours has got just like a little... A little watch battery. DC, yeah, watch battery. Now the time has changed and everything on it now. I'm not resetting that. I'm not setting the time because it'll just be gone again in a day or so. Did you get a battery today? Oh, up in a minute when we stop and I'll pick a battery up to take my car out, but it's not been out for ages. Yeah, so we'll get a battery today. Or we'll try and get a battery today. We're from Ocean Falmouth. Yeah. That's if they answer the phone, because they never do. Oh, I'll tell you what we didn't do. The tyres? My tyres full of gone flat. Yeah, it probably will be on there. On a crap bike like that. 33 and 38. That's not too bad actually, 33 and 38. Still gone flat. Yeah, mine's 30, used to. 33 and 40. So my rear's gone down by 1 psi and the front's gone down by nearly 2. Don't scare this puppy boy. Clutch in. There you go. Hey baby girl. It's a lovely little dog. What's the other thing? Smoky Joe's or whatever, it's only 10 miles away. Your bike will start when you come out. <laughs> Do I go through hail, Baz? Everyone. Yeah, it'll take a bit longer, won't it? Yeah, so welcome back to another delightful video. We're going to Smoky Joe's. We've never been there before. It's supposedly the best breakfast in Cornwall. And also on today's video, I'm going to be discussing, or we're going to be discussing, a short video that I posted months ago that for some reason, the last two weeks, has got 150,000 views with loads of knobhead comments, as you'll see. People wishing us dead. Yeah. I want to tell that about. Actually, now, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it now. So, in this video, I'll play the video now. Um, we're going up the A38. It goes into two lanes. There's a white Jaguar that's happily plodding along no, behind wait, the lorry. It goes, it goes into two lanes for the purpose of overtaking slow moving vehicles. Yeah, that's exactly right. Exactly what we was doing. Yeah. So this car... It's a 50 mile an hour average camera road. So we couldn't have been doing more than 50, as you see in the video. It goes into two lanes. We decide to overtake the slow moving lorry that we'd seen... No, we got into the overtaking lane at the start of it and we stayed in it till the end yeah, of it. So yeah, yeah, no. change lanes. Yes, but what I'm saying is we knew the lorry was there. So it was common sense, all right? It was common sense that you wanted to get past the lorry because it was going uphill. So the lorry wouldn't be doing 50, it'd slow down to about 30 or whatever it was doing uphill. And just as we got up to the lorry, the white Jaguar decided to pull out on Baz. When I was at the side of it. When he was at the side of it. All right, it was in. It might have been in the blind spot at the time, but there was pl there was a, there was ample time for the Jag to look in the rearview mirror, to look, to do a shoulder check, to do everything well, to check if it was clear. It, even if I was in the blind spot of the car, it doesn't make wasn't. it. No, I know. Well, you wasn't. Yeah, I should, wasn't. Yeah. Pulled out on you. That's true. And even if he was in the blind spot, there's people saying in the comments that it's his fault because he was in the blind spot. How does that make no. it his fault? <laughs> and it's my fault because I should have anticipated it was going to happen. Yeah. So this oh, it's it's um, some of the comments are unbelievable. Um, well, so the car pulls out. The driver realises that they've made a massive mistake when they see him appear out of nowhere. I was quite close to the car, but the car brakes and then I decided to go across the two white lines to get out of this um, crazy driver's way. People are also commenting saying it's the, the bike, the second biker's fault, meaning me, because I went past because the double the white, white lines. lines, you know, so did you not see the, the car pull out on him? It's but anyway, what, what you do on a bike, it's got nothing to do with me. No, it's nothing to do with me now. Cheers, mate. Just rubbed that. Looks yeah, like he just did. rubbed it by looking out and running after him. Had I? Yeah. Let me see in the mirror. Hey, you've got it on camera. I've just witnessed it. Just witnessed it. Well, I can tell him you've got it on camera. And as the robbery. <laughs> They've got their own cameras, haven't they? 
Welcome to Cornwall. <laughs> Hey, that's going to be big news, that, because usually in Cornwall, the big news is a wheelie bin blew over. Fancy only robbing a 32-inch TV, you know? <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to rob something, make it worth it. Yeah, so back to that clip. Um, and I understand that some people will be saying it's the biker's fault because they want an argument on YouTube. They just, they just want to be in their beds, basically. I might do some screenshots of some of the comments. I've stopped replying to them. And a few of them have just put N, the cap like a capital N for knob. They might think it means no, but it means knob. And I've started putting um, eggplant. So it's a, it's a phallus. So after watching this clip, give us your opinion on what you think the, um, whose fault it was. Bear in mind, we're doing 50 miles an hour, overtaking the car, perfectly happy, and the car just pulls out. And the main thing, I never changed lanes. I was already in my lane from the beginning to the end. So there's no lanes changing in it. If that was a three right. lane motorway, I was doing 70 mile an hour down a three lane motorway and someone moved from lane two to three, it'd instantly be their fault. That's a very good example, boy. And the lady happily sat behind the truck for the whole length of the road. And then right at the 200 yard marker board, she decides to pull out. And another little fact, 200 yards is 36 Jaguar F-Pace lengths or 96 bike lengths and some idiot said that I left it a bit late <laughs> 96 but 96 bike lengths the comments are but absolute how can you leave it a bit late when it was already in the second lane and the bit that pisses me off is when I had that 10 year legal battle it's full of idiots like them people that yeah. blame the bike oh I seen him he come round the corner and his handlebars were scraping the floor he was going that fast. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, what actually, that's what someone actually said that's in his, what in his said. court case. And then another person said he was in a parked line of traffic and they had to move out my way or they would have hit the... Hang on, I thought he was in a parked line of traffic <laughs> and I was doing 90 mile an hour. <laughs> so you had to get your car in gear, move it out my way and I was doing 90 mile an hour. Yeah. And bear in mind as well that this situation, the, the left turn that he went round at the time was a lot sharper than this left turn here that we're looking at. And yeah, it was, it's an over a 90 degree bend. Yeah, and there was queued traffic on that side seeing him go round it and said that his handlebars were scraping the ground. You wouldn't have even been able to get your knee down in them days. <laughs> nah, what the fuck? <laughs> on track he did. Oh, on the road you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really ride on the road, did I? I'd give up riding on the road, rode out one day and had an accident. Yeah, so imagine going to court and you've got to rely on a jury and you get knobheads like that in the jury. Yeah, so that's the rant over about that, unless maybe in the video I think of other things, but I'll put screenshots of the comments. And on that positive high note, I want to thank all the uh, today's sponsors. We've got quite a few sponsors today. Oh, bat battery voltage critical accident risk stop driving. What do you reckon, Baz? Don't lie. Yeah. Cancel it, Baz, you'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, if I just turn that screen off, it'll... it'll... Yeah, it's back to normal now. <laughs> the bloody hazard thing's flashing on the right. What? The hazard, you know, telling you that there's something wrong. Let me just smoke this car and then we'll go back. No, we'll go smoke your Joe's. Yeah, thanks, thanks to all the sponsors for today. We've got a lot. Uh, and I don't, want, I don't want people to think I'm taking the piss here. You know, I'm only doing it for fun, like get people's pets on. I'm not, I say sponsored because it's a laugh. I'm not charging anyone. So if you want your pet to be a sponsor of the video. Hey, you, you charge me. Yeah, but that was just a bit of a suck, wasn't it? You fell for that one. Oh, but that's not your bike that smells, is it? Oh, I just smelt that. Is there any smoke coming out of the, out of my seat? <laughs> Where the battery is. Yeah, so thanks to all these pets there. Uh, there's quite a few. He's coming, boy. Oh, he's mandems. I don't think I've got enough battery voltage. Oh no, it's gone now, I think. Fault in the engine control. Onward journey possible. possible. Ride carefully to next specialist workshop. Yeah, I won't be doing that. I'll just get a new battery. 
He's down, get it, boy. Come on. Hey. It's raining. I know, yeah, I just noticed. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm not about it's too late. He might be going smoky twos. I was just gonna say that. Is it a competition one? Or the same as my one? Um I think it was a competition one. It sounded quite nice, didn't it? It didn't sound as beefcake as that RSQ8. <laughs> In the same spot, funny enough. Them M4s and M2s, even though they lose shit as a money, they're proper mint cars I think. It's BMW though, isn't it? Battery will probably die after a couple of weeks. Did I have mine for two years and lost 27 grand in it? Yeah. That's a joke, isn't it? That's the most money I've ever lost. It is, yeah, by far. No, I lost 10 grand in that TBR in 10 months, a thousand pound a month. Have you got any, have you got any pictures of that money. car? Yeah, I would have doubled my money if I still had it. Put a picture up for Baz's TBR. TBR? <laughs> What's a TBR? A TBR? It was a mint car that. I only ever went in it once because I'd um it was around that time he had that car that I had that massive, massive accident. And I was in a coma He's for a fifteen coma. years. Alright, you ignorant knob <laughs> I made eye contact with him. Uh, I did, he had glasses on. Yeah. Jay was in a coma and I was taking his chick out for meals in our TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're going to turn his life support machine off. <laughs> what, so, um, are you single now? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be single, Arras. Hey, this is all fresh tattoos. It's chippings, what they've claimed off a road, isn't it? No, I mean, this is what we're on now. It's all, this is new, isn't it? We've never been yeah, on yeah. this before. Well, that's the old road that they've chipped up, isn't it? Must be, yeah. Uh, did you see him taking the bridge down at last weekend or whenever it was? A time lapse of him taking the bridge down. You didn't need to time lapse, you should have just played it in real time. It's took that for you long to do this. <laughs> no, yeah. Going left and left again, oh, man, boy. We can't go to that cafe if that guy's there. It's like we're trying to him. <laughs> yeah, of course we can. Can you work? We've got to go to. Oh, I nearly went then. We've got to go to Smoky Twos. Go to BMW and buy a battery bus. Yeah, after we've been to Smoky Joe's. Oh, he's moved over for me. Solid white lines, it won't overtake you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I don't know. And then compare that to them people that was riding them KTMs the other week, overtaking on bends, overtaking in blind crests. Yeah. Overtaking on solid white lines. That's the the KTMs we were following a few weeks ago. You know, obviously didn't put any of that footage in because I didn't want to get anyone into trouble or make them look bad. But putting anything up on the internet, you're opening yourself up to criticism, aren't you? Yeah. Which I'm not bothered about. Um, but a little update on the solid white lines. People say it's illegal. What do you mean it's illegal? It's not a criminal matter. Um, and you are allowed to overtake on solid white lines. If there's slow moving vehicles like a tractor, cyclist, or there's an obstacle, or there's an accident, you're, or a tree fall, you're allowed to overtake on solid white lines. Now, in that you video... You're allowed to cross it. Radio you're allowed to on. cross it. You're allowed to cross the solid... Point. Hey, Cardo, radio off. Radio off. Yeah, you're allowed to cross it. Um, and in that video, I class that car driving erratically and braking hard as an obstacle. And I just... I overtook on the solid white lines because I seen it was clear, seen it was safe to do so. And I wanted to get out of the way of that crazy driver. She was mental. I think while we're sat here doing nothing, I'll thank all the, the channel members. Thanks for being members, guys. It's very much appreciated. She just crossed the solid white lines coming out of there. Yeah. Is she allowed to do that? I hope he done, I hope he done die in 2024 like that guy wished us dead. <laughs> Yeah, some of the comments are really offensive, like calling us assholes and... And you, the other thing, you ride a bike knowing that there's a high, high chance of having an accident right here, to Baz. begin with. Eh? Right here. Four bikes there. Oh, Baz, the guy's there. No, it's not. It's not the same one. It is, the guy's there. Oh, Baz, come on. It's four bikers here. Hold them, hold them, hold them. Oh, oh, gravel. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was nearly a no bump then, boy. 
that would have got a couple of views oh, I might need that EV charger when we come back out just go in the EV spot oh. Oh, bump. No, you can't park in that. Why oh, are you going on the outside of it? I like it. We'll just adjust those cones. It's that shit. Oh no, I didn't have that shape. But that's the a good shape GSXR. Mint looking them bikes, boy. Please on the Jesus start when I come back. It started by the way. No, I'm just saying the bike started. We just called BMW to get a battery, but they haven't got any in stock until Tuesday. And we can't order it till Monday. We check Halfords, they haven't got any in stock supposedly. So we are going to Cornwall Kawasaki because they've got stock of them. Cornwall Kawasaki Scrappy. Don't be disrespecting Kawasaki now when they the reliable, unlike, unlike this bike. Should we see if we can test ride that ZH2? And if they say you why you test ride, what test ride it? I say because we want to get rid of this bike. It's it's bloody gash. It doesn't bloody start, does us? Oh, I didn't even give that place a number to that we was going to rate out of, did we? I say fifty three. Fifty three. Um, so we'll give you like a countdown of ten seconds to decide the score. What you think it's gonna be 10 seconds starting from now 50 out of 53 it was a nice greasy spoon cafe it wasn't i'd say 43 would you it's expensive you've got to wait yeah you've got to wait anywhere aren't you and i suppose the weight's only big there because it's so popular and everything's lukewarm i don't know i i, I enjoy those greasy oh, spoon cafes karate chop every one of them in the windpipe a bit violent so while we're at Cornwall Kawasaki now we'll see if we can test ride the ZH2 Ian Angles what? Well, you're not working because your bike's all shit I've not got any messages now though 25 and 22 what are yours 38 don't 38. 38 where did you get 38 that's 38 and 28 where did you just get 38 on the left the roundabout coming off the roundabout probably it's natural to me boy 38. We've only been back on the bikes about 15 seconds. Is it even colder here? It's probably colder here because it don't get any sunlight, does it? It's in 17 degrees. He's no way I'm shivering. Yeah, you're right. It is 17. For once, you're right. Cheers, buddy. You ignorant. So, here we are at Cornwall Cower 2's. Where are you? Are you here? Oh, <laughs> you've not gone the wrong way, have you, boy? <laughs> he has, hasn't he? You've gone straight on, aren't you, instead of turning right? You muppet. Now, let's see about this battery and the ZH2. We didn't do the full install of the battery. Take it out and do it again. Where are you going to put the bolts? In my man pouch. Anyway, we took the old battery out of there, put that new one in there. It's gone. That was a quick pit stop. Oh, here we go. See if Kawasaki's got the power to start up a BMW. It's looking good. Kawasaki power. All that bad. Might as well set everything. I was just going to say I'm going to set the time now. What's the date today? Uh, where's it tell you? Hey Siri. What's the date today? Muppet. Is it like the 26th or something? Where's it even tell you? Uh, the 22nd. Oh no. Oh no way. I don't know us. In fact, one sec. I'll get my phone out. It's the 23rd. And it's 12... 12.28 28 p.m. Okay. Sucking on Kawasaki power now, boy. Oh, turning left there. Uh. Turn left, go. Oh, you muppet. Oh, don't embarrass me. Oh, come on quick before they start laughing. Do you know what? Do you know since I've just had that battery put on just now, like two minutes ago? It feels faster. It feels well faster. Kawasaki must have some mint batteries. Um, update on the ZH2, it is not available now. It's sold between the last time I was there and now. So he said he's got me and another guy on the list to test ride one. So he'll give us a call when one comes in. Which I blame the weather for not test riding it because it's been absolutely shit for the last, I don't know, two months. 
That's absolutely ridiculous that a BMW main agent doesn't stock batteries and a Kawasaki one just had one at pops rating. You know, that's a specific size battery to fit under the seat and stuff. Yeah. I think that's why. I don't get another 650, bud. I, I might go back to Kawasaki. The, the old reliable Kawasaki. One. I might just get a 125 from there. I'd have a bloody blast on it. I just looked at one for Richard, a big one. Alright, alright, alright. He had the same bike as you, bud. How much are they? Didn't ask. Look, Ben, though, it looked like ZX10. It's only a 125. Um, yeah, while we was having breakfast before at Smoky Joe's, 50, I think, gave it out of 53. We were talking about that video as well. We are just looking through some, we got some comments while we've been out. And Baz got in a full on argument with someone. I've told him not to reply, but he can't help it. He's got a, he's got a short fuse he has. Another person saying that it was the biker's fault. Most people that blame the biker blame speed. Yeah, well, and when they're proved wrong about the speed, then they'll say that I should have, it was my poor judgment. I should have anticipated the car was pulling out. What they fail to realise is the car sat behind the truck for three quarters of a mile. So yeah. why would you then pull out at the end? But everybody thinks that they know. Even that guy that starts saying what the lady thinking, I'm like, how the, how in this earth do you think you know what that lady was thinking? It's absolutely impossible. Fast, that's right, mate. Too fast. It's just <laughs> too, too fast. Bloody fast. <laughs> well, to be fair, we was doing 31 in a 30. Actually, 21 in a 20. It's 20 here, isn't it? You know, someone in Manchester that got knocked off a motorbike, 30 road, guy was doing 100 mile an hour down a 30 road, supposedly. Guy pulled out on him. Please come. I seen him, I seen him. He was doing 100 mile an hour down here. And the traffic officer looked at the guy and said, what, and you still pulled out? Mm. So you seen the bike doing 100 mile an hour and you still pulled out on it. It's instantly your fault. He's pull out when safe to do so. It's not. Oh, this car's doing 50 and a 30, so fuck okay, it, I'm going to pull out. All right. Oh. oh, they might proportion yeah. some blame. S so, yeah. Some blame would go, you know, so instead of it 100% being the person's fault that pulled out, that change direction, cross someone's path, whatever it is, if you was doing the speed limit, it would be 100% their fault. If you was breaking the speed limit, it'd go to 70, 30 or 8. 80, 20 or something. Yeah. But then they'd have it's to prove that you were speeding. Yeah, which the police didn't prove I was speeding in mine. I hit that car at 32 mile an hour or whatever. I scrubbed off 80 mile an hour, you know what I mean? <laughs> Within about four foot. Yeah, if you believe the shit that the people say. 15 witnesses all went to court. <laughs> this is the other funny thing. 15 witnesses all go to court. They're all against me going, yep. And everything that right they've got here, in common is that the bike, the bike was speeding. All right, okay. So... My barrister said the other thing that's in common, not one of them mentioned the car putting its indicator on to turn in a parked line of traffic. It didn't, did it? It just pulled out, didn't it? Just pulled out, yeah. Oh, the guy sat on the sat on the wall crying that was driving the car going, I just didn't see him, I just didn't see him. <laughs> Can't say he was crying. Or was he crying? Well, I, he well, was sat on the wall crying saying I didn't see him, I didn't see him. Oh that was quite a lot of it. Where are you going there? Right, right. Yeah, and then left. Look out for the first camera here, Baz, because it, it can't be an average speed with one camera. Is there now, isn't it? No, the camera that we know about is at the end of this 30 zone. Right, yeah. So we don't know where the start of it is, unless it's hidden in these well, this trees. This is the start of it, yeah. Yeah, so where's the first camera that gets you? What is it, 30? 30, yeah. Can't see any cameras anywhere, can us? There is, though, because someone's been done. Yeah, there's a camera at the end there that gets you for speeding, but I don't think it's an average speed one. Oh, that camera's gone now, and it's this. Yeah, this one here at the end. Ah, uh, why have you slowed down so much? Because I didn't know what I was doing, I had to put my cruise control on. Someone's even said in that thing, it's the bike's fault, they both shouldn't be using the phones while they're riding. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I cannot believe how stupid people are, yet they give an opinion. And like you say, the most proper, proper scary thing is that they can give judgment on something. Yeah. It's in a that, jury or That they haven't got a clue about. Yeah. You, you know, you've not got basic common sense or a common knowledge of the rules that are... You know, I'm not disputing that we break the law and you go fast and whatever else, but at that particular time... Yeah, that... We're doing the legal limit. And why are you in the second lane anyway? 
for doing exactly what we were doing, overtaking a slow moving vehicle. Yeah, uphill, a lorry going slow uphill. That's another funny thing that someone said in my thing, that I went round a corner and lost control and I hit the curb. So you imagine how far bank Toby would have to be in a left hand bend for your wheel to hit the curb. <laughs> yeah. Your whole head, your handlebar, your head, everything. Must be on the curb. Would be in the pavement, wouldn't it? Yeah. So then our barrister said, oh yeah, yeah, no problem, refer, refer to whatever. This is a picture of the street furniture on that bend. He's got a handrail right the way around to stop you going into the road. Uh, this is a good speed. see me because I didn't have my lights on, that was another good one. The hey, that was in our comments as well. Someone the other is day, it? someone the other day said, maybe if you would have had your lights on, um, you morons or something, should have had the, your bike lights on and you would have been seen. Well, you can't turn well, the bike lights off. Bike lights have been hardwired since 2003. There you go, mister. So, that that, so if you're watching this... <laughs> immediate thing. And the other thing, Baz, in that, even though that crash was that bad, I brake that hard, the bike... The nose cone of the bike, there was nothing up with it. It was a top. <laughs> yeah, because you'd done an endo. That was your yeah. first endo, wasn't it? I wish I knew I could brake that hard when I raced, but I can tell you that for free. <laughs> and it still crushed my finger off. Baz, it's Furter. What are you doing? Hey, hey, what's up with you? Uh, I've, in this car. I've got the crew, yeah, he might be speeding, I've got the cruise on at 29. Why would you do that? Why is the car staying behind there? Oh my god. And then decides to overtake when there's a car coming, you absolute mong. <laughs> Did you see that? Sort of dickheads. They had a sort of dickheads coming on that video and saying it's the bike. Oh, yeah, so this Mini then just was behind that cyclist, the right hand side, that side of the road was clear all that time and then they decided to overtake the cyclist, go on the other side of the road when there was a car coming. He's the type of knobhead that comments on those videos. That's what I just said. Yeah, but I said it more exaggerated. <laughs> I can't believe that car just done that. He's like my grand, you know, my granddad drove off, <laughs> I've said this before, <laughs> it's funny. He drove for like 50 years and never had an accident. Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah. <laughs> I don't like what Dad said, no, but you've caused like a thousand or whatever. Yeah. I've never ever, ever known anyone drive so slow. It's dangerous, he drives so slow. <laughs> and yeah, fair play, he'd never had an accident or whatever, but he shouldn't have been on the road. Yeah. He died 23 years ago though, so he doesn't know about how we've turned out. Well, if he's looking down on us, on, on the Mary, on the Jesus. I drive left Cornwall last Monday at quarter to eight in the morning, got to Cadwell Park at five past five without stopping, but, and it pissed off <laughs> all day. What are you forgetting is, you left the day before. Yeah, Monday, I left on Monday. Yeah, you left, so he left on Monday. It might have been in the last video we, we spoke about him going to Cadwell Park. He drove for ten hours, and then the next day, it rained all day, so he, did, he ended up driving all that way again for nothing. Right. Just seen that guy, didn't we? Not for nothing. Yeah, but well, didn't you go to Alton Park on the way home? Yeah. So, when I realised that he was shit on Tuesday, I left Tuesday, drove to Alton Park for Tuesday night, did Alton Park Wednesday, you get me? I'm understanding you. Yeah. I'm hearing you. Yeah. Oh, this, this battery has got more power. I feel it. It's instant power. It must have given me ZH2 power. And it was absolutely roasting, and the only downside was the BSB took over everything. Oh yeah, because they were out the weekend, weren't they? Because of a, a track that it was still 200 quid, so it should have been at a reduced rate. Garage is closed off, you weren't allowed to go down pit lane. Yeah, and my mate Josh Brooks wasn't even there, was he? Yeah, Hickman was in his little... I can't believe that. Peter Hickman must be absolutely vented. He's got like a 70 grand fan. And he's got a proper clamp pit caravan by Steve. A proper what caravan? Clamp pit caravan. Oh. Ego surfing. Easy surfer, dude. It's Furter right down there. <coughs> Not Furter yet. That black sign for Furter means it's coming up. Here's the actual Furty zone. Little heads up for everyone there. Jesus Christ. Move that over. Nob. Do you remember when we hit that Makita Jill for that 
archaeologist when he dug the footings at that Pendennis Castle for that wall and we hit that Makita drill when the guy went for lunch in the ground. <laughs> right, like he was gonna, like he'd found it, yeah. Like he'd found the Makita drill, <laughs> I remember how pissed off he was. <laughs> And I started taking the piss out of him about the detectorist. Yeah, he didn't like it, did it? I thought it was a she. A man, a little fat man. Yeah, but another day wasn't there a woman there because they, they had to be there the whole time it was being dug up, didn't they, in case they found a hat or something? No way, they had the key to drills then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this January now, January coming yeah. up, I've had this bike two years coming up. So next, the January 25th. Five will be when this hello will be when this um is up for renewal. Hello to who did you say hello to then boss? DA Furter. Go on boy. There's no room. You're not allowed to filter past the first vehicle anyway. Not allowed to what? You're supposedly not allowed to filter past the first vehicle. Which one? Well since that filtering video has been getting like a hundred thousand views and people have been critiquing it. Yeah, you can, on, you, can, you can supposedly filter through all traffic, but then when you get to the front of a junction or roundabout or wherever they stop, you're not supposedly to filter past the first vehicle. That's got to be bullshit, because what about when there's traffic lights and there's a specific bit set out for motorbikes and it might, push bikes? It might just be at roundabouts then. I'm not sure. I didn't read too much into it because people just want an argument, don't they? You having a challenge? I'll go this way, I'm for a piss. Oh, I've not done it. I've not done it. Oh, come on. Jesus, how slow do you want to go? Group connection lost. Yes! <laughs> Ando is going slow, boy. And you've got the slowest driver in the world, eh? I just had two of them. That's 2-0. I'm beating you 2-0. All right. It's not exactly beating when you know that that way is the fastest. It's not the fastest. You've got the shortcut. The battery's still on. Yeah, the camera's still on. I'm going to do tip of the day here. And tip of the day for me is if you're going to comment on a video on YouTube or anywhere on the internet, just try and have a bit of, a bit of knowledge about what you, you're commenting about. Or at least if it's a video like ours, at least watch it a couple of times. Even one person said the car was indicating. And it's clearly not indicating. And don't be don't be aggressive or don't be vulgar or don't be some of the comments saying dead. asshole. <laughs> yeah, wishing people dead. <laughs> like did it was it they said that we had to hope you die next year or something. I hope you die before 2024. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's no need for that when it was clearly the car's fault. Just to come I'm, straight you know, in with that comment. Thing. There's loads of dicks that I'd like kick the car or smash the mirror off and everything. Wait, oh yeah, that's just reminded me. Someone com someone commented saying, um, if that was me, I would have smashed not the wing mirror off, right? I didn't reply. But then a few comments later, a few replies later on that same comment, someone said and what's the need or basically saying why did you smash the wing mirror off i didn't touch the wing mirror you know what i mean they just it's like chinese whispers but idiot whispers yeah so in the comments just just think about it before you comment or write the comments out and then read it back a couple of times before you leave it before you post it no way it's fact to them isn't it because uh because they're stupid no because to them it's fact that's what they believe and think but how people can try and comment and say what, the, what that lady was thinking you know he's trying to like tell me what people were saying and what they thought and why they did it it's impossible that you anyone knows what went through that lady's head uh, actually one last one last one was some guy commented saying he's going to send the, the video or he's, the police. he's going to send it to his mate that's the head of whatever police department and i thought Shame why what's the what's the point of that it's like like he was threatening me or something you got scared though didn't you Baz? and was like nah, no don't do that <laughs> no i didn't get scared i just i put him straight yeah. i didn't i put him straight you can read the comments you got scared and went nah, but oh he might he might call the police <laughs> no i said i said what's the point of this
that was a good time to stall it right where I, exactly where i wanted to stall it Ta-da! So that you've we've done a bit of a build update so there you go we've not had rain for three days yeah we've not had rain for three days and look it's just it's just cracked on uh thanks to the subscribers and a special thank you to the members again and a big special thank you to all the pets that sponsored the video may i add there's no money it didn't cost anything we're not that type of people or we're not them type of people well that type of people it's one of them two anyway right see you later